discussing about creating a data model uh, the earlier session got disrupted so we will start with creating a data model so we will go to the home page new and click on data model so first the data set uh, we will add a data set of sql query uh, the BIP demo is our uh, connection, so we'll select that and then we'll choose query builder. Query builder will choose department table, employees table, and this department ID relates to this department ID. So we have a link, uh, so that's it, and the condition. Okay, in the model, we will select department name, then select first name, last name, hire date, and salary. Okay, now in the conditions, the alias will change to department name. This will be first name. name. This will be last name, the higher date, and this should be salary. And then in in condition, in. DPT first name in EMP. Okay, we are creating two bind variables. That's it. Now if we if we go to SQL, we'll see this query results. Well, department says sales. We made a mistake. Should be colon. Now, if we go to simple, that was correct. Now, department sales. Okay, employee, we don't know, uh, sales, let's select. Select. Star. Select the employees of sales department. So let's select this department ID. Department ID. Department ID. Okay, so all these are of department 80. So let's keep John. So let's give John. Okay, so we get a result as per our expectation. So let's save this. Save this and okay, let's give it a name employees 
and save this department EMP. Okay, so we have two parameters and in the data set we have employees. Those are created. Now let's create a list of value. List of value class will give you the name BP name SQL query There is some issue with this setup. UPT name. Ready. Not giving space to write the SQL. What's going on? List of values. Delete. Put it in name. <clears throat> Okay, then list of values. I have to pull this up. Query will learn and select department and department name. New data. Okay, then next list of value we will create EMP name
some of this uh, list of values are not coming so let's do one thing let's uh, employ name let's open in another browser and check Let's save this data model. The LAM salary report parameters. Salary salary report parameters parameter salary report parameter. Missing SQL query. It won't allow me to save. And that is the problem with this. There is a SQL query not appearing. Let me open this in another browser. Okay, now new data model. SQL query, query builder, not countries, departments and employees. This department ID will point to this department ID conditions okay select department name first name last name add date salary condition the department name this should be first first name the last name, the higher date, and there should be salary, department name in full on DPT. John and sales. So let's save this. Let it give a name, employees. Okay. Okay. So we have two parameters, EMP, and this time it is coming. See. Anyway. First, we'll have to make it list. We have to add list of values. So first list of value is EMP TPT name and we say SQL query and in the query builder we'll select department and department name. That's it. Okay. Next, another list of value we will add. Add EMP name. Query builder should be employees first name. Save. 
so we have added two list of values then in the EMP default value should be star parameter type is menu LOV list of values is EMP name first name and this should be all values passed next comes department value should be star this should be menu and this is department name correct upt name all values passed that's it so we have created two parameters and two list of values on the main query now let's save save this data model salary report parameter salary report parameter save save so we have saved it now we have to view data first name last name so first name department name all view then export we'll have to save the file pip report parameter pip okay so it is a spelling error so the salary report parameter okay anyhow so let's go to the properties of the data set properties then the sample data we have to upload the sample data where we have saved it BIP is modified. This one upload. So, this is very important to upload the sample data, otherwise, in the report, the data will not appear. So, that's about it. So, let's save this. Save. So, that's about creating a data model. We have created a data model with uh, two parameters and two lists of values. So that's how we should create a data model. Next, we'll move on to creating reports. Thank you and bye.